Process versus product. As an artist, these are two very important things. But when you think about it, is there one that you should be focusing on more than the other? Greetings everyone, welcome to the Underground Lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with Cirqueworks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator. And as a mad creator, as an artist, as somebody who makes art, it's very important and it has always been very important for me to have a product. You know, have something tangible to show for all the work that you do. So I'm really big, I've got, you know, if you're familiar, I do a lot of comic book stuff. I've got digital products for helping people, you know, create comic and things like that. I've got physical books out there. I've got prints. I've got all that stuff. So I'm very, I've always been very much focused on having that product. And it hasn't always been as important uh, to me anyway on how you arrive at that product the main thing is the product um, you know if it takes you know the, the kind of the, the fastest most effective way to get to that product uh, as long as it's still a good product um, that's always kind of been the focus or just uh, you've maybe you've heard me talk about that MVP that minimum viable product so maybe you know just to get something out there you put the you put like if, especially if it's a digital product you can put the core product out there and then you can update it as you go along like oh you can get this product now and then I'm gonna be updating it as you go along just to get something out there there's a lot of different ways to think about putting products out there um, but like I said in the past I've always been very much focused on uh, product over process um, now process it's not to say that the process isn't as important but maybe I don't share the whole you know journey on how to get to that finished product maybe that's not as important to me but that's kind of changing and there's there's a few different reasons for why why I'm kind of shifting my uh, you know my thoughts and and my opinion on what's most important and again both of them I think as an artist is very important as a professional artist I think products are still very important I mean if we want to do this for a living we've got to we've got to have things out there that people can purchase and that can you know that you know for our livelihood to keep us going and everything and 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 to be able to do this as professionals products are a big part of that but I I think products just a product on its own I think moving forward in you know from 2023 into the future it's gonna be a different game because now with things like AI it's kind of for whatever you whatever you think about AI uh, I'm not gonna get into all that right now but AI is pretty much here to stay and what it's doing is it's democratizing artwork people are going to be people who don't have any artistic ability or skill or haven't put any time into that are going to be able to type prompts into or they are able to do that now just type some prompts into a, a uh, you know into an AI program and it's going to generate some really good results and they could go take those and they can sell them they can make prints they can do all that stuff so because now it's getting to the point where almost anyone can do that we've really got to look at the important the product itself may not be as important or or we can take in the sea of products out there that people are going to be producing and putting out there because it's so easy we've got to set you know as artists we have to set ours uh, uh, make ours stand out from all those other ones and I think the big thing that we need to look at is that process how did this how did this thing that's right here that there's so many of them what makes what separates ours from the rest now I'm already starting to see this in different areas like I publish you know I do a lot of and this has been going on even before AI I mean people like I publish a lot of books coloring books and things like that uh, on Amazon through their KDP platform which allows you to basically upload artwork and a story or whatever and and they'll print that they'll ship it out people order it online you put all the keywords in there uh, and so I've got a number of books out there and my comic book workbooks are one of those and just I sell that stuff on uh, you know on on Amazon um, and I think I kind of always had the sort of a bit of the upper hand because I am an artist and I can create this but there are people out there who are just they're just business people they they don't have any artistic talent or whatever but they're still making a killing producing stuff and, and publishing it through KDP and what they do is you know they maybe they use clip art maybe they hire people on Fiverr or something like that and and they're able to put that stuff out there and you know AI is just a whole other thing I mean who knows what that's gonna do to like the the people 
out there that are that are scrounging at the bottom of the barrel on Fiverr or something, uh, that might even put those people, you know, what little they're making, they might not be making that anymore because now people are just, oh, I'll just generate whatever image I want. And there's a lot of people out there, they're just business-minded people, and now they have the ability to create art. Now, that isn't to say that it's great. Just because you can type a, a prompt or whatever into, into an AI, it doesn't mean that product is gonna like if you're doing a, if you're producing a book it doesn't mean the book's gonna look great because maybe maybe the AI puts out some great artwork but then how do you package that you know how somebody who's not familiar with design or whatever maybe the type they use to to for the for the book's title and all that kind of stuff maybe it doesn't even match that artwork because they don't just don't understand so I still think us as artists, we're going to have the upper hand there, but that stuff is all closing in, and and whether whether it's stuff you see on Redbubble or Etsy or whatever the case is, that was that was sort of an area that that artists as artists, and there've always been people that that just upload, maybe they'll just copy something or pull image, Google image searches. And I've seen that on Redbubble where they're just putting out just uh, stuff they don't own or because they're not artists. Um, now they can generate something and the legal, you know, the legal ramifications right now remains to be seen. You know, some people say, well, it's, it's not technically stealing because it's just pixels or whatever. I don't know, that's not something I wanna talk about, but the fact is more people are gonna be putting out artwork on products and everything, and we've gotta, as artists, we've gotta compete with that. And the way we compete, I think, moving forward is going to be showing the process. So now we're living in this world where the, the creation of artwork has been democratized, where anyone can do it at the push of a button, but because there's so much out there, you know, people now people are just gonna, or maybe not yet, because the general public public may not understand what's compute, what's AI generated, what's generated by an artist who's who has you know experience and skill and 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 talent and everything behind them. The general public probably doesn't understand the difference, but at some point they will, and it's going to be a very it's going to be a novelty when somebody sees an artwork. It's going to be to the point where somebody's like. Like, oh, you just typed, typed in some prompts and you got it, right? What, no, you, you mean you drew this by hand? Like, have you ever heard people talk, ask, uh, people are always like, you drew that freehand? You know, and, and some people don't even understand what that means. It's just, you drew that f with your own hands, like as opposed to computer, like if you're, if you're drawing something on the computer, like it's not, doesn't take just as much talent or whatever. But people are, uh, even right now, they're very uh, impressed by people who can draw something freehand. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be even more so moving forward when people can just generate any kind of artwork. When people see somebody actually creating the artwork, when they see there's an actual hand doing this, that's going to make that artwork more valuable. I mean, I see this all the time with photorealistic painters. If you've ever seen somebody who's like a photorealistic painter, to me, that painting, it, 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 it the painting itself by alone by itself isn't that impressive. It, what is impressive is that somebody can take something and make it look almost photorealistic. Because when it comes down to it, if you want something photorealistic, just, just buy the photograph. But the fact that that somebody has the the talent to make something look photorealistic, that's what get, that's what impresses people. And that stuff goes viral. It's cr it goes crazy viral when you see, you know, I've seen people do it like with with stippling and pencils and it just looks so real. It takes forever when somebody, I mean, think about this, something where somebody's stippling and making something look real like that, it may take it may take a month to do that versus somebody could just say I want a stippling technique uh, of this image of uh, Elvis Presley or something like that, and then the, the AI will spit spit it out. But when you see somebody doing that, is the fact that it took that long to do it, that's going to make that more valuable. And people go nuts over that, like when they see that on social media, um, like. The, the, you know, people just watch these Facebook videos of somebody doing that in fast speed and everything, and they're just like blown away, and that stuff goes crazy viral. More viral than I would say, even though it's just, it's basically, I mean, it takes skill. I'm not, I'm not denying that, but, but there's, the creativity's not there as far as like coming up with your own character or something like that. But a lot of people, <laughs> the average person out there, they don't really care about, oh, he's coming up with his own character. They care about this looks real and somebody's actually creating this, not just taking a photograph. So that stuff, things like that is going to be really impressive. So moving forward, when people can, 
type in like I want to create my OC, uh, I want them to have this and this and this and the computer generates it, even it will reach the point where it's just like before with people like amazed that somebody can create something that looks photorealistic. Uh, somebody can create their own character, not just by typing it in. And when they see somebody actually doing that, uh, you know, through video or YouTube or whatever, that's going to be super impressive. And that's going to make, I think that's going to make that, that more valuable. And not only that, but just as I think as artists moving forward, we're going to have to be more performers. And a lot of people might be afraid of that, but I mean, this is a new world and we got to, we have to stay ahead of this if we want to compete. Um, and I really think, you know, getting on YouTube and showing your process and showing, showing, yes, you actually have the skill and the talent or whatever you want to call it to do this, to create, um, because now everyone's going to be able to do that, but not everyone's going to be able to show their work. You know, at school, you're doing math where they want you to show their work. That's, that's the key right there. And people are impressed by that. So, um, and being a performer and that's, that's honestly, I'm going to be moving into doing more content like that on this channel. I've done a lot of helpful art advice and things like that. Um, and that's, that's still valuable, but I think, I think in order to be competitive, I need to go back to doing some more actual drawing and stuff on this channel. So, so I need to make a shift and I think, I think it's best for us to, to start thinking that way as performers. Um, and this stuff does, and there is, there is value for people like that. People want to see that, whether you have a Patreon where you're creating the work and, and people want to see that. So, so there is, there is still ways to compete with AI by, by showing your work, by showing that process. So now is the time, really, if you think, if you want to be an artist, you've got to embrace kind of being, being that performer, get on YouTube, get on any, whatever, TikTok, whatever it is, whatever, and, and show your work, show that process coming together, start building that audience. Um, because if you're just, if it's just, if you're just show, if you're just going to like, say a convention and you're selling prints, pretty soon anyone and everyone can have a print of almost anything and they don't even have to take the time to draw it. So if you're just a, I mean, it's just going to create a factory of like, you know, before, you know, <laughs> it would it'd take the time at least to do the artwork. Now it's like nothing. You just generate that artwork, put it on a print and sell it at a show. Um, that's not gonna it's it's you're gonna be behind the eight ball it's gonna be a lot harder for you if you are actually taking the time to draw that when you when you take time and and you've drawn you got 10 pieces you go to a show and the guy next to you is doing all the stuff with ai and has hundreds of pieces um so so that's something we got to think about we gotta we gotta start em embracing the process um that's what i'm going to be doing the product is still important but there's gonna be a lot more product out there so we have to we kind of have to separate what we're doing from what everyone else is doing and that is that the process is even more important or definitely more important now than ever before so embrace the process hopefully this helps you guys out uh i will talk to you guys later that is all hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit that subscribe button also you can follow me at surfworks on social media and now you can support the work that i do on patreon do you like making comics then go to surfworks.com and pick up the comic maker starter kit it's packed full of fonts brushes templates and more and best of all it's totally free